Welcome to episode 3 of my series of slot secrets videos. There's one thing that is going to be guaranteed to all slot machine players in the weeks, months and possibly the next few years too, and that is every single Vegas casino will be eager to get you to visit and gamble at their venues. As such, for the savvy slot player, there are going to be plenty of ways to get the maximum value and rewards out of your slot playing bankroll, and today I'm going to be looking at how you can do just that. There is one simple rule when it comes to where to play slot machines in Vegas and that is to avoid playing slot machines in casinos located on the Las Vegas Strip. By playing at off-strip casinos you will find those casinos will have set their slot machines to return more of your stake money as winning payouts by having the slot set with some much higher payout percentages than strip based casinos. Things to look out for when choosing where to stay and play include Picking out a casino that isn't going to force you to pay resort fees, for those additional charges can double or even triple the cost of staying in a room or suite. Next, you should be looking for a casino that has a very large and very diverse range of slots, as that way you'll have plenty of different slot machines to play. Look out also for casinos that have a generous players club that will give you more comp points per dollar wagered. And look out also for casinos that have high-valued player club sign-up offers too, as that way you'll get off to a flying start with those sign-up offers. There is also extra value to be had by playing at casinos that offer the customers regular slot tournaments, for many of those slot tournaments will be free to enter and will be offering a range of cash or free play prizes. Casino hosts are tasked with ensuring a player at any casino stays loyal and they will often shower you with plenty of additional extras too, if you're prepared to gamble and play slot machines for a certain number of hours each day. Most casinos in Vegas will have their own players club, and many casinos that are owned and operated by the same company will have a standard reward scheme that runs throughout each of their casinos they own. By signing up to a players club, you'll then be given a players card which you simply insert into any slot machine you fancy playing. And each time you spin the reels, you'll be accumulating comp points. The more you play, the more comp points you will earn, and it's the volume of cash you churn through a slot machine, and not your losses, that will determine just how many comp points you amass. The comp points you do earn will then see you being able to exchange them for a range of extras, which can include you being able to turn your points into cold hard cash if you prefer. However, the redemption rates for turning points into cash can be quite low. Or you can exchange your comp points for free play on any slot machines you fancy playing. And any winnings you achieve once you have played through your free play just once is yours to cash out. You could choose to turn your comp points into free food and drink at the venue you are staying or playing at. Or you may wish to use your accumulated comp points for additional nights accommodation at that casino resort. Other things that you can exchange your comp points for include show tickets or any merchandise that casinos may have on offer in their gift shops too. I will now pass on to you some all important tips for playing slot machines at casinos located ideally off the Las Vegas Strip. You will often find those casinos will have some slot machines located on their gaming floors that come with some very high payout percentages and those are of course the slots you should be playing. Also keep in mind that each slot will have been designed as a high, medium or low risk slot and that is often referred to as the slot variance. Low variance slots for example will give you more low valued winning payouts so it could be ideal slots to track down and play to allow you to get more play time and could see you earning more comp points too. If you can play the higher denomination slots then those slot machines do tend to offer slightly higher payout percentages than lower denomination slots. Any slot machines that have hit by progressive jackpots attached to them, those being jackpots that are guaranteed to be won before they reach a certain value are certainly worth playing but only if the value of their current jackpots are not far off the amount they're guaranteed to pay out by. By playing maximum pay lines, then you'll never miss out on a winning opportunity spinning in. 
and will always get the best chances of winning big, for example, when a slot machine's free games bonus feature has been triggered. And also do make sure you use your player's card as well. If you don't insert it into the slot machine, then you will not be earning comp points as you play. If you are staying at a casino resort you've never visited before, and you do intend to gamble there quite a lot during your visit, then make a point of introducing yourself to a casino host. Each casino will have any number of casino hosts, and by making yourself known to one of them, they will track your slot play during your stay, and will in turn, if you do give their slots a fair bit of play time during your visit, will shower you with plenty of additional extras. If you play, for example, penny slots for four hours or more each day, then that will be the key to you being awarded plenty of extras, which can include things such as comped rooms or suites during your stay and on any subsequent visit to that casino. You will often find you're offered free play on return visits too, based on how much you gambled, not necessarily lost on a previous visit. You will often be invited to take part in ongoing slot tournaments at that casino, and should at the very least be offered free meals and drinks during your stay too. If you do fancy watching a show at any casino resort you've wagered enough at, then you'll also be given free show tickets. And you may also be given use of the limo service to take you back to the airport and bring you from the airport on any subsequent visit too. Finally, it's very important that you do set yourself some limits if you're planning on staying in Vegas for a few days or more, as it can be way too easy to get carried away, especially on the very first day you arrive when playing slot machines. So make sure you do set yourself a daily slot playing budget and stick to it. Also, try and use ATMs to withdraw cash that are located away from the gaming floors as that way you'll not be forced to have to pay the often sky-high ATM withdrawal fees. When planning a trip to Vegas, try and find a low-cost travel option, as when visiting out of season, you can often make use of some very low airline tickets. Always, and this is important, gamble responsibly when playing slot machines in Vegas. And be prepared to play new slots that have just been wheeled out onto a casino's gaming floor as they will often be set with higher payout percentages whilst they're bedding in. One final thing to keep in mind if you do win any number of jackpots when playing slot machines in Vegas, and that is to lock in your winnings. So consider asking to be paid out those winnings by either a check or a bank wire, as that way you'll not be tempted to gamble those winnings back. There are plenty of off-strip casino resorts that you can stay at when visiting Vegas. And some that are known for having high payout percentages on their slot machines and also having plenty of slot player related promotional offers such as comp point multiplier days include Palace Station, M Resort, the D Las Vegas, California Hotel and Casino, Silver Sevens Hotel and Casino, Arizona Charlie's Boulder, the Orleans Hotel and Casino, the Downtown Grand Hotel and Casino, Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa, and the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. To gamble legally in the USA, you need to be over 21 years of age. Always gamble responsibly, and please set your limits. When the fun stops, stop.